Actual meaning of the word Muslim. Let's discuss the literal meaning. The actual meaning of the Arabic words Muslim is the person who submits and surrenders to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The person who follows the religion Islam is a Muslim. Islam literally means surrender and submission only to the one true creator. A Muslim by definition means one who surrenders and submits to the laws of God. As Almighty God is the creator, nothing in the creation actually works at its own free will in order to maintain itself under the protection of its maker. Are we really free human being? So, we being Muslim cannot claim ourselves to be free human being. At the point when we surrender, we are automatically bound by certain code of conduct prescribed by our maker, cherisher, sustainer, and supreme authority. Non-Muslims can do whatever they want, but we being Muslims are governed by Islam. Common Misconception so, we must get rid of the misconception, Muslim is equal to believer. A Muslim is not a person who just believes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists. The sole belief of his existence and the fact that he created us is not sufficient to be a Muslim. Even Iblis was converted to shaitan or kafir when he refused to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command. Iblis knows and believes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created him. Iblis said, you created me from fire and created him from clay. Surah Al-Araf, Ayat 12 Can we argue to be Muslim just by believing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists? Even Iblis believes that. His disobedience was his disbelief. And mention when we say to the angels prostrate before Adam, so they prostrated except for Iblis. He refused and he was arrogant and became of the disbelievers. Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayat 34 We cannot simply say, I believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists. At least I am not a kafir. What if I don't follow few rules? When we consider ourselves to be Muslim, we must surrender and submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trying to fulfill the obligations and restrictions, constantly being aware of the fact that we are in fact returning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Please note that we can only try our level best and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his hidayat and mercy, but cannot excuse ourselves without even giving it a try. Remember, we are in a constant need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He does not need us. O mankind, you are those in need of Allah, while Allah is free of need, the praiseworthy. Surah Al-Fatir, Ayat 15 The purpose of a creation was to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Please note that worship is not just limited to prayer, zikr, fasting, and zakah. This extends to all permitted righteous deeds. And I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me. Surah ad dariyat Ayat 56 The best of examples Let's consider the Prophet Ibrahim Salam's life as an example of submission towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever he was told something, he just submitted. When his Lord said him, Submit, he said, I have submitted to the Lord of the worlds. Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayat 131 Consequence, Ibrahim salam is in the highest of all the heavens closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Example 1 After a long time, Ibrahim salam was blessed with a child. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him to leave his wife and the child in the middle of a desert. He didn't argue and did it, even though he loved his child so much. Consequence, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took care of his family. Example 2 Further later, Ibrahim salam was commanded through a dream to sacrifice his beloved child. He consulted with his child, Ismail alayhi salam, Regarding this, Ismail salam responded, Do whatever you are commanded and you will find me among the patient ones. He submitted again by putting a knife in the child's neck. Subhanallah. He said, O oh my son, indeed I have seen a dream that I must sacrifice you. So see what you think. He said, O oh my father, do as you are commanded. You will find me if Allah wills of the steadfast. Surah As-Saffat, Ayat 102
Consequence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replaced his son with a ram from paradise. Conclusion A Muslim is a person who submits and surrenders to the rules prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and does not choose between what to follow and what not. Ultimately, those rules are beneficial to us either we understand or not. And it is a misconception that following these rules are impossible for us. Allah does not burden a soul beyond that it can bear. Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayat 286